If he runs away from your leg, we need to rebalance him. Keep that. Inside leg, wrap him around you like a banana. And if he scoots forward, half hold and rebalance him. Your legs don't mean go forward all the time. One leg, move over. Both legs asks for more energy. Something about you and I know why. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Sophie, fix your hands. Remember, you're supposed to be working on that. Thumbs on top. Good. So we're going to do that again. That was what you needed to do. We're going to do it again backwards. Think straight lines and slowly across the, the center. Slow, balance. You know when you change your rising and when you change something, he speeds up. So balance him in his corners. Little half halts going into the turn. Lift your inside rein. Add your inside leg. Make him think about bending as opposed to going faster. So bend, bend, half halt, change your rise, half halt, and bend. Way better. Change your rise, half halt, and bend. Good. That way he's not turning and losing you either, right? We want a balanced turn. We don't want to crazy runaway horse on the front end turn. It's her specialty. <laughs> but if it was reversed, <clears throat> so we would get her head ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> right, Gabby? If it was reversed and Sophie was in your way, she'd get yelled at. Yeah, but I'd also go around her too. Yes, I know. But did she not go around you? Or did she just walk through you? Good. Let's change direction across the diagonal. Same thing. Bend him like a banana here. Now half halt. Right leg. Right rein. Start your bend. Start leg yielding into the corner. We kind of missed that corner, so let's circle and get into it. When you do a diagonal, you want to think at a new inside leg and rein and asking him to really step up into those corners. He wants to drop his shoulder and drift and not give you a straight line. Yes, please. And then you're gonna come across the other diagonal. I see a pylon with the letter K on the wall. The post closer to the shavings is the one you're aiming for. Okay, you're doing... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Finish your circle and then we're going across the diagonal. Okay. okay. So you see the letter K, right? Yes. Aim for the post closer to the shaving. Now start half halt, left leg, left rein, left leg, left rein. That was a pull farther from the shavings, but that's okay. Change your eyes. Circle here. Keep the bend. Inside leg. Push him out. He doesn't need to run away. We need to keep our thumbs on top there, miss. Inside leg. Push him out here. Good. Ride the circle one more time. Make him move off your leg. Look up. Half halt. Don't let him rush there. See how he wants to chase Chino? Yeah, he still does that. As soon as you come off this rail, you just kind of let him be. Half halt as you come off the rail and begin your turn. Just those little touches. We're not pulling back hard. We're just having communication and rebalancing. That was better. We're going to go across the diagonal. You're aiming for A, the pylon on the ground. Now right rein and right leg. Half halt. Don't run. Change your rise. 
Push him out into the corner. Bend like a banana. Good. Every step of the way, you're having that communication. Circle. Don't let him rush coming off the rail. Half halt coming off. Good. Try to make your half halts a little quieter. Every time you half halt, he tends to toss his nose a little bit. Yeah, so and she's doing a quiet one for you. Softer. It might make him a little bit quieter in the head. And by softer, I mean don't give your reins away and then pick them up, because that makes it harsher. You want to maintain and carry the contact nice and quiet. Good. That way when you have halt, it's just a communication with the corner of his mouth. It's not a pull, or a yank, or a bump. Good. All right, let him breathe. Every minute. Right, every time you have halt, he throws his head. That means you need to hold the contact a little steadier. So it's not a loose bang. We're going to go down the red. Breathe. You done? Just straight line, half hop going into it. Good. Take your eyes. So you get a little excited. You remember coming out of your turn, just like we were turning on a circle. Half halt, bring them together. Don't let them rush it. Finn was ready to get the stride. We're going to do the green. Half halt coming off. Look up at your point. Beautiful. Change your eyes. You're going to circle, going between the big brown pole and the bottom of the triangle. Wait, what? That's the little brown pole. Circle again, the bottom of the triangle, and the great big long brown hole. Right through it like a shoot. Yeah, there you go. And up the center. Breathe and balance. Half pull through the corner. Look at the point. What way am I turning? Uh, left. This is, this uh, is. What way? This one, this one. Okay. <laughs> that, that, this is me and Sophie. This is me riding right now. Come up the center again. Land your turn a little soon. Look at the point of your triangle. Good. Left again. Lift your inside right a little bit and block that shoulder. Get that leg on. When you go into a corner, out of a corner, you gotta get that leg on so he doesn't just barrel race around it. Is there a pattern she's doing? No. You can make a pattern. No, I just was wondering, because she doesn't know where she's going, so now I wasn't. Now you're going to go back through the red the opposite way, starting with the point. Good. Looking up. That's always harder, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go down the green, green side to point, and then up the point to the red, okay? Making a figure eight that way. Hi, honey. What's up? Look ahead. That one's coming along very nicely. Change your eyes. Balance and rhythm coming into the point. Really think center. Half halt. Good job. He just needs your your commitment, right? Yeah. When he's, he's like, which way do you want me to go? And you're saying, go straight. I'm right here. Look up. Straight through the point. Good. Oh. 
This one here, when you get close to the point, keep your reins steady and your legs on and keep them straight. Yes, good job, Sophie. Go ahead and canter. He's like, really? <laughs> I was thinking I was dumb. I was dumb. Yeah, I was thinking this is going to be my day. She wrote them yesterday, too. So That is very nice. When you get down to the bottom of the ring, you're going to ride that circle again through the same tunnel, okay? Let's sit your canner and balance him up underneath you. He's getting a little ahead of you there. This is the exact lesson she needed. Bend and balance. Lift him up. One more circle. Inside leg. Wrap him like a banana. <laughs> Come on the rail. I call the breeze, you're gonna go over the green pole. To make it all the more difficult. One, two, three, and out the point. Three. One, two, three, and out the point. Nicely, Jay. Circle in the tunnel. Sit, wrap your legs around him. Relax your hips. Stay on the rail. We're gonna go through the red. Bend your knee and grip a little more to your saddle. He's finally ready to go. Ready to warm this boy up. Get him moving. So Gabby, you can do all those pulls. You can do all that stuff that Sophie just did. Yeah, don't fall on your face. Hold him. Remember, you gotta hold him. Support that sucker. Even when she's, I know. Like imagine knowing what you're doing and then having somebody who does not know anything of what they're doing tell you what to do. Yeah, that's, that's my life with my children. <laughs> But as a mom, what are you I, about? how I always tell you guys what to do, and you're like, oh, I'm doing that, and I'm like, well, do it better. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what you're doing. But I don't even know what I'm doing. At least I can admit that, though. Somebody came in and was talking to us, and so I didn't get to um, video Chino's ride, but he'd be looking so good. He was, Gabby's ready for lessons now. Don't you know that you're beautiful, just the way you are, just the way you can.